so hello friends in today's video we will discuss about optical line fail alarm which appears in sienna and which appears in amplifier devices so we will discuss in detail about optical line fail alarm in uh, two scenarios you can see here there is a two scenario unidirectional fiber cut and bidirectional fiber cut so we will see both the scenario we will see on which uh, device of sienna optical line fail alarm comes and on which port it appears so we will discuss all these things in today's video here you can see i have taken this as a circuit reference example or you can see this is the dw dim signal flow in which we will focus on this part because optical line fail alarm uh, appears on the amplifier so you can see it, these are the two limb cards so uh, whenever there is a fiber cut happens either in the single fiber or in the both the fibers this optical line fail appears so let's see how this appears why this appears on on which devices which port it appears so let's see unidirectional fiber cut so you can see here this is a setup this is the fiber this is the signal direction from site a to site z this is the signal direction from site z to site a so this is the site a this is the site g and site a and site g are connected with this fiber span so this is fiber span this is the length of the fiber so you can see uh, what happens when the fiber cut is happened suppose there is a uh, single fiber cut is happened and this is the fiber which is in which the signal is moving from site a to site b it means this uh, signal is injecting from site a from port 5 into this fiber and the signal is receiving from the same fiber at the other end by this receiving port port number 8 so in this direction fiber cut happens so one thing it should be noticed that you can see here this is the osa signal which is combined uh, with this traffic signal and move into the same fibers this osa signal you can see this osa signal and traffic signal both appears in these fibers so on this receiving port the amplifier amplifier signal as well as the osa signal appears on the port so suppose this fiber is cut so what happens we will see we will get osc loss of frame so this amplifier uh, this amplifier uh, feels osc loss of frame osc loss of power because if this fiber is cut then this osc power also not transmitted so we will get this osc loss of power as well on this port port number four there will be total amplifier loss of power because no any signal is receiving on this port and hence when these three condition meets then it will uh, so the optical line fail alarm you can see optical line fail alarm appears on port number eight and this amplifier so this amplifier uh, declares that there is, a, there is a signal which is not coming on the port number eight or we are not receiving this amplifier declares that i'm not receiving any signals and optical line fail alarm will appear so what happens the sequence two you can see on this opposite direction amplifier there will be automatic shut off reverse direction amplifier is for to shut off because this is not receiving any signal so there is no mean of transmitting the signal so it will be shut off and on this amplifier we will get the automatic shut off sequence 3 here we will get the complete loss of c band due to upstream amplifier is shut off but osc signal is still present in this case this amplifier will shut off but you can see this osc signal will inject uh, in this fiber and receive on this port so here on this amplifier we will get shut off threshold cross alarm sequence 4 upstream amplifier is forced into sort of based on the receiving the osc defect indicator from the reverse direction so on the reverse direction it will uh, receive defect indication this is from the osc which is coming from the reverse direction amplifier this amplifier so here automatic set of alarm will appear so you can see if there is a single fiber cut or if this single fiber is appear so we will get these four alarms on these four amplifiers unidirectional fiber cut ports so this is again the same setup you can see side a side b this is the fiber cut these are the sequence and this optical line fill appears on port number eight in the same way you can see automatic set of this alarm 
will appear on port number six. So this is very important. This alarm will appear on this port number six. The set of threshold cross alarm, you can see this alarm will appear on this port number eight of the opposite side of the amplifier. And automatic set of alarm, you can see this is appears on port number six. So you have uh, now know what is the optical line fail alarm on which amplifier it appears. What is the reason for this and on which port it appears? So let's see the unidirectional, uh, sorry, bidirectional fiber. You can see here the same setup. This is side A, side B. And you can see both the fibers is disturbed. Both the fiber is broken. So what will happen on this amplifier? It will receive loss of frame, loss of power, and amplifier loss of power. And on this port number eight, or you can see on this amplifier, it will appear optical line fail alarm. Sequential reverse direction amplifier. This amplifier will be supposed to shut off and OC inject defect signals. Automatic shut off is appears on this amplifier. Now, what will happen? This OSC injected. OSC inject the defect signal, but that OSC signal also not receiving on this port. So port number eight does not receiving the OSC signals and does not receiving uh, the amplifier power. And that's why it will appear the same thing like here. OSC loss of power, OSC loss of signal and amplifier loss of power. And this will appear optical line fail alarm on this amplifier. And in the same way, we can see reverse direction amplifier is poor to shut off because this amplifier this is receiving optical line fail, so reverse direction amplifier. This will be the reverse direction amplifier, and this will be supposed to shut off. And we see we see also inject defect signal in this. So automatic shut off will be appear on this. So bidirectional fiber cut. Let's see what's the port number. You can see this is the same setup. Fiber cut is happening here. Fiber cut is happening here. Sequence one. We will get OSC loss of frame loss of power amplifier loss of power and optical line fail this optical line fail appears on this port number eight now sequence to reverse direction amplifier is forced to shut off and we will get automatic shut off in port number six here again we will get the optical line fail alarm on port number eight and we will get automatic shut off on port number six so here this is all about like how the alarms appear on which amplifier the alarm appears and on which port this alarm will show. So this is all about the fiber cut scenario in which optical line fill alarms will appear. Thanks for watching.